Hey everyone, this is Rello. And Sashimi. And we have Axel here with us for our unboxing today, as well as over here we've got the Boisha. And back here we've got a sleepy stubby just kind of hanging out in the back. So, Axel, what are we what are we unboxing today, buddy? We are unboxing Resident Evil oh, don't Village. Crush his foot. Oh, I won't. <laughs> Resident Evil the Village. This is the collector's edition for PS5. It is a huge edition. It's uh, actually kind of an expensive one. This one, I think, market or MSRP was 219 US dollars. Normally, when I get these ones, it's mostly out of curiosity because it's really rare. I'm actually happy with ones that cost this much, but we will see. We will see if Capcom has what it takes to make it worth it. So, it did come uh, from GameStop. I believe this was a GameStop exclusive, and they actually had a separate box. This was packaged by Capcom in a separate box before it went to GameStop. Oh, so, GameStop's ridiculously dumb shipping. Uh, doesn't seem like they were able to damage it this time, which yeah, is rare. So That's amazing. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff in here, including a Chris Redfield statue, which honestly, Chris. Capcom, I think you... I love Chris. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love Chris, the fridge, the boulder puncher, Redfield. But that could have been Lady Dimitriski. <laughs> Let's just be honest. They, Yeah, they could have done better, probably, with her. So let's take a look at the box art. It actually has a massive boxedo, which Very goes nice. around what looks like a suitcase design for the box. So we will slide that off. And if any of you guys who are used to our videos are wondering about the gloves, um, I just ordered these for some other scientific stuff. And I thought they actually kind of fit the whole Resident Evil theme. And a lot of the time, these editions have really nice stuff in them that I feel bad about getting my grubby fingerprints on, so. So we do have a suitcase. It's got lots of stuff in here that could, if you guys want to pause and take a look at any of these, feel free, because I'm pretty sure there's some Easter eggs hidden amongst these labels. It's sort of for the tilting if that's bothering anyone's stomach. Are they the same? No. Alrighty. So we're gonna go ahead and clip our way into the box. See what we've got inside. While well, you're doing that, where she looks pretty funny. What are you doing? She turned around so she could watch us. I will admit, the gloves kind of make me feel a little more professional than so usual. Good. It's like the relaxing end, but reverse. So, I don't know, the anxious beginning. <laughs> so, here we go. Ooh. Looks like a nice steel book. We do have a Zagang, which probably... It doesn't say launch edition day one. It does say deluxe edition, so you do get the deluxe edition inside. It is an edition that says not for resale, if that's important to any of you guys. Opening up, we've got the game. No reversible cover. Uh -huh. so this is the trauma pack. We do have DLC codes here for the DLC, the trauma pack DLC. This one is for reverse. It says just PS4 on it, which it kind of has me a little curious. I'm sure it works fine on PS5. Go ahead and toss that under Dawa's tail and throw the game right here. Cloud can keep track of that. 
Now for the steel book. It's a gorgeous steel book. Well, if you it's don't nice can... that it's mostly matte and just shiny on the wings and gold part. Right. It kind of looks like a book. Yeah, it looks nice. I like. I like how they did that. Yeah, it doesn't look like a steel case now that you mention it. It's even got like a leather interior artwork. Mm. So quite the elegant steel case. It says the name prominently on the spine. As it should. Lovely. Next up we have a map. I wonder if I'll actually be able to use this to help me in the game. Lovely. Supple. It's got a very nice, uh, very nice thickness to it. Um, the the cloth is very. It's got a good texture, or yeah, texture to the the look of it. It's very shiny, while also matte at the same time. It seems like for this edition they've really mastered the shiny and matte aspects, getting them together. Yeah, it's got sort of like a leather sort of look, old leather map. We will get all those put out in just a sec. Okay, so some H space, some space eating cardboard, and here we have the art book. Hey, gotta love an art book. Well, it says the traveler's record, so. Let's see. I don't want to reveal any spoilers, so I'm just going to take a look before I show anything. So we've got some concept designs. Ooh, wow. I like the pony. Look at these designs. This is hey, multiple man. various artists. We've got some. This is has like a Coraline feel to yeah. it. Yeah. I like it. I like bats. Hmm. More ponies. The concept art looks really interesting. Anyways. Okay, so anyone it's familiar? Spoiler. So we've got all the characters known here. Ethan, I like that they still have his <laughs> face covered up. Mia, Rosemary. We have Chris, the fridge. We've also got not my Chris Redfield down here from the DLC. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like what they did with his face at all. Very nice artwork of the various environments. Looks like quite the conflict going on. I am here for all the horses. We've got Lady D smiling for everybody. The daughters. So fashionable. Oh, actually, you're back. Moreau's Reservoir. And out of respect for the art team and Capcom, who I'm sure want to sell this edition of the game, we're going to go ahead and just show a few pages. Don't want to sell or show everything. It seems like they haven't had too many issues selling these, though. Yeah, unfortunately, this is currently sold out on GameStop. It is being, unfortunately, as always, scalped for ridiculous prices on Amazon and other networks. So Let's see if it's Empty. really worth the value. Empty. We are down to the bottom of oh, Stubby's the kicking me. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and close the suitcase and see what this is about because this is an over $200 edition. Currently, we are sitting on a Steelbook DLC Reverse, which comes with it anyway, as well as a map and an art book, which doesn't really quite fill me with $200 worth of value. So let's see what the figure offers. And you'll frequently get 
this much stuff with a uh, like NIS collector's edition for about a hundred. Yep. So that means the figures got got to be a hundred dollars worth of so good. So figures can be pricey though. Sorry about the noise if that's loud. Got to be careful sliding. Press the fridge red field out. We might. Is he heavy? Got a nice secure plastic coffin. Is he heavy though? He, he's actually pretty heavy. He's, he's, he's got some weight to it. But still, though, imagine that could have been Demetrius. <laughs> they, they actually announced this collector's edition uh, before they ever announced her, so. They had no idea what would happen. I, I think Capcom was quite taken aback by... Her popularity? Yeah, by her popularity. I don't yeah, think I got that idea too. We have a stand in the back. I'm going to try to get that out first. Although it kind of reminds me of when the developers for Ryza were surprised that people thought she was sexy. Oh, when they found out about Pfizer? <laughs> yeah. All right. We have a pretty nice, I gotta admit, that is a nice stand. He's got a wool. I think in this, they're really leaning on the term lichen. Hmm. All right, so let's take a look at the stand. We have the lichen on top. It actually is a layered. This is a seriously intense plastic smell coming off of that. Chris Redfield. You know, I mean, after all these years, Chris does kind of deserve his own bit of memorabilia. I mean, he's been there since the very beginning. Because you remember, Gone. Look, Jill. Blood. <laughs> oh, Barry. You don't think this is Chris's blood? All right. So, Chris. Wow. He pretty chonky. You he, see it? He's uh, got some weight to him. Oh, nice there. He weighs a lot. All right, Chris. So let's take a look at his side arm. I think they nicknamed that one the Mia Killer. So as far as details, he's got a lot of texture in the coat. You can actually see he kind of looks like he's covered in, like, spackle. <laughs> <laughs> spackle, Chris. <laughs> he just came through a wall and took all of spackle with him. Mm. So he's got these really stylish uh, cargo kind of pants that really oh, remi remind me of something. <laughs> yeah. Nice pants. I like them. The, uh, and the, the texture on the pants is good. I'm not so sure about the jacket, but the pants are fine. The shoes are cool. pretty bland. Uh, the paint job like is them. really subtle. Um, it's like a, a bluish gray. See, it's like bluish gray on the insides. I actually like the shoes. Like standard, they look like pretty much just regular old like military hiking shoes. Yeah, hiking boots. Oh, why is Axel crying? All right, moving on up. We got a nice color gradient. None of this moves, by the way. He, he is practically a statue. Stiff. Nice, uh, Nice gradient on the shirt to distract you from the fact that uh, his Resident Evil 5 abs are long gone. Oh. I don't know where they went. Sorry, bro. Maybe they're hidden in there, but he's got this... He's got... Well, he's kind of old at this point, right? He is pretty old. He is pretty old. Aren't you, Chris? We're going to just deny that, though. <laughs> Looking at the hair here, we've got his... 
I don't know that. I think the I think the apex of Chris was Resident Evil Five, in my opinion. That's mm. that's when we had peak Chris. This older version does it's fine. I like the th I like the bigness that he's obtained. He's he's definitely um, bricked out, but mm. it's hard to keep those levels of gains. But I don't see this. Cr I don't know if he's gonna be quite punching the boulders he used to. We can't pu punch Hopefully. boulders forever. And look at Schwarzenegger. I bet you Schwarzenegger can still punch a boulder. Alrighty. So he is now on the stand. Hand for reference, or he stands about as tall as Lao Shan. For kitty scale. Where's your, what do you think? <laughs> He's tall. She's like. So he stands in right around, I'd say like, it's like 12 inches. Yeah. It probably says somewhere on the box, but I'm too lazy to look. So guys, it is up to you whether or not you feel this edition is worth it. If you want my honest opinion, I'm not disappointed. I'm not incredibly satisfied because, mostly because I, I'm kind of biased against the, the, the new Chris look. That that could just be me. If he looked like older Chris or if this was Lady Dimitriscu, then I think this would be totally worth it. But I don't have remorse over it. I, I feel pretty good about this one. It looks good on the shelf. We get quite a few goodies. So for your $219.99, if you get an MSRP, hopefully you can. You'll get the village, the suitcase with the boxedo. It's a really big box, looks nice on a shelf, I'm sure. You get the cloth map, you get the steel case, the game, of course, reverse, the trauma pack DLC, the village Resident Evil, the Resident Evil Village Travelers Record art book, which has some really cool art uh, that really stands out from the style of Resident Evil. And you get a buddy Chris, who is not going to fit on any of my shelves right here as they stand, so I'm going to have to find a unique place for him. So, hope this helped you guys out. If you've been on the fence about whether or not you want to get this, I would not, uh, while I do like it, I wouldn't recommend anything above MSRP on this one. Um, you could try to see if it shows up for sale later on. Uh, maybe some of the scalpers won't be able to, to get, a, get it off the shelves, and we'll, you'll, you might be able to get it at a premium later. Uh, I definitely not pay like the 350 that people are charging online for this. Plus, remember that doesn't go to Capcom at all. That goes to you know just reinforcing scalpers and bad habits. So, I would say unless you can find this for MSRP, hold off, guys. Other than that, that's pretty much my opinion on it. Good job, Chris. I I I, I hope uh, I hope you punch some stuff in the game. So, guys. As always, like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is... If it is within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home with you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it, and unfortunately, guys, there are plenty of animals out there who need your love, so please show them what you got. And speaking of love, we love you. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, Axel. Say bye. <laughs> Axel. Bye, Axel. Bye-bye.